Saya ingin menyatakan di sini bahwa di atas penghargaan diberikan oleh rakyat itu, maka kita akan pastikan bahawa aku janji Barisan Nasional akan kita tunaikan sepenuhnya. Kita akan gunakan mandat lima tahun ini sebaik-baik mungkin supaya Barisan Nasional kita dapat berkokohkan sebagai sebuah parti dan kita akan dapat memastikan Barisan Nasional akan berkhidmat dengan lebih tinggi, dengan lebih semangat untuk rakyat Malaysia. It has been a hundred days since the Barisan National Coalition won the election, so we have asked people on the street their thoughts whether the Prime Minister's efforts on national reconciliation have been sufficient. So hi, I feel that um, the Prime Minister is a bit slow in doing this Kononyo Wa Malaysian integration harmony thing because you see a lot of racial tension at the moment and you don't see the government doing anything to curb it or even help uh, between the races. So I think he's a bit slow at doing it. I want to see more progress um, from the government. You do see some change, but I don't think it's from the government. I think it's from the people itself. But we do need a help from the government to curb this. Law. There's not much of uh, changes when there's uh, after the election. Well, there are still people being political, uh, racist, I would say. But then um, generally, us Malaysian, we are just forgiving. I would say that the Sri Rajiv is trying his level best, but not up to the standard. Uh, I think uh, pasal yang racist tu memang uh, masih lagi ber berkelumanang dalam uh, kat Malaysia ni. Wang Malaysia pun tak nampak lagi yang mana satu semua. Uh, sebab tu rasa macam belum capai lagi tahap yang apa yang dikata semua tu. Um, rasa taklah sebab tak ada perubahan and it's all the same lah, sama je. Tak ada perubahan. So, I believe that our Prime Minister now, Najib, uh, doesn't have the ability to connect with the people and that's why people keep on fighting to, among each other and blame each other due to their mentality due that they always say that Malaysia is always belong to Malay. Instead of embracing a new Malaysia, instead of saying look things have changed and, and, and people want something more than just your usual uh, race-based politics, they have gone backwards, they have gone inwards to what they know best and they are coming out with even more race-based type language and, uh, and um, rhetoric. And during this period, do we see Najib actually saying, look, stop it. This is not the way forward. We don't see him reacting in that way whatsoever. Now, I know why, because if he does that, then he's going to lose his UMNO um, grassroots supports, which leads one to, sus to, to suggest that if your grassroots support wants this kind of politics, wants this kind of race-based, religious-based politics, then what hope do we have of your leaders actually changing anything? Based on the feedback, majority were unsatisfied as there hasn't been apparent changes, although a few defended the Prime Minister, rationalising that change takes time. 100 days is still very short. Give him, the, the Raya had given him five years mandate, so five years, let's see the result. I believe he can do a great job. I think that he's making an effort and, and it's a work in progress. So it, it's, it's not something that you can measure in a hundred days because this is a conversation that's happening all over the world, all right? And uh, national integration is always core to development and progress, okay? And we need to shift the conversation from racial tolerance to racial understanding. I think that PM has been able to create tolerance between people uh, sebelum ni sebenarnya benda tu dah ada Cuma kita tak peka je Tapi bila PM mengwar-warkan tentang konsep satu Malaysia So secara tidak langsung uh, Setiap daripada kita peka terhadap situasi tersebut Dan mula uh, melakukan satu uh, pada saya, paradigma ke arah ke, ke, kesatuan kaum itu 